Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to go ahead and building a basic radar system here in advanced mode on the creative island. Uh, we'll go through all the components needed, we'll go also go through how to wire them up, uh, how to also paint the paint blocks and then hopefully by the end of the tutorial you should have a basic understanding of how to get a radar system working in your own creation. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, we'll go ahead and build our base for our module itself. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and enable the X-Plane just to build the base. So once we have the base done, we can go ahead and start constructing our actual radar itself, and then we'll go afterwards and actually build our display up. So for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use our velocity pivot. Velocity pivot is going to constantly rotate um, depending on what speed we give it. So we'll go ahead and place that down. Once we have the place now, we can actually go ahead and start building our actual radar itself. Now we're just going to go ahead and delete the middle block, and we're going to place down a distance sensor. Now our distance sensor itself is going to measure, obviously, the distance between us and another object, anything up to 250 meters. Once we have that place down, we then go ahead and build our actual control module itself, which is going to have the display on it. So we're going to go ahead and just build this up by three. We'll go ahead, hold down control, click on a velocity pivot, and you can see now it's automatically selected that. We can go ahead, place that down. Once we have that placed down, we can go ahead and actually just put our paint blocks down. Now our paint blocks is actually what's going to have our uh, little needle on it that's going to rotate. And then it's also going to have a little indicator to say when there's a little beep or on the screen that's going to come up to show us if there's an object in front of us. So we'll go ahead just to name our direction arrows so we can actually see where the paint block is going. And then because we have our radar facing forward, we're going to have the screen facing up also. And then we can go ahead and just fill in here. And you can see here it's going to be a 3x3 three three square. And then we can go ahead and actually start painting this. So we'll go ahead, just jump to our brush mode here, enable black, and we're going to go ahead and paint this. Now a quick easy way to get this all black is we can go ahead to our paint mode again, replace color and we're just going to replace the white with black and you can see it straight away replace everything so now that we have a complete black screen we can now start painting our little arrows on it so first off we're going to go ahead and place a little green block right over here in the middle of the screen and that's going to be for our needle we then have that and now our, we're also going to do a little dot here now that dot itself we're not going to use an old paintbrush because we don't want that to show when, our, when we're not detecting anything, so we won't paint that now. We're then going to switch to our additive. Now, additive itself is a color that you can paint on top of a paint block. This is only going to show up if we light up the block itself, if we give it an on signal. So you can see if we switch to our logic, switch to our data, you can see the paint blocks have a backlight. And that's only going to, top one is only going to come on if it detects an object. So we can go ahead and just paint our needle, which is always going to be on. And then we're going to go ahead and just put a simple dot there. So when it detects something, it's going to light that block up. So once we have that placed down, we'll just go ahead and jump back to normal brush mode. And then we'll just build the encasing for the actual screen itself. So we'll just start building this up slowly. Obviously, you can just change the design of this uh, according to how you want and get a little more creative in your own build. So you can see here we have our actual little display itself and then lastly we're just going to go ahead and encase it as you can think it's going to be a little round screen. Next off we're going to go ahead and just add a couple of controls for the system here. So first off what we're going to do is we're going to add a simple little buzzer. This buzzer we're going to get to activate when it detects something so it's going to give us a beeping noise. Next off we're going to go ahead and put a digital display down. This is going to tell us the distance away or distance we are from from the object itself. And then next off, we're going to just add a simple key button to turn on our system. Fantastic. Now that we have all the components down, of course, because we're in advanced mode, we need to go ahead and actually put down a battery to power our whole system up. And then we'll go ahead and start actually hooking everything up with the logic. So first off, we'll go ahead and we'll just jump right into it. We'll start off with our key switch. Now our key switch, we want to activate our systems. Now the velocity pivots need a numerical input to obviously control the speed of it. So what we need to do there is we're going to use a numerical switch box with a number. 
and then we're going to set that number, for example, to 0 0.2. Obviously, you can change that depending on how fast or how slow you want these pivots to rotate. So we're going to go ahead, click on our key button. That's going to send a signal to the switch box. When the system's off, it's going to be sending an off signal. When the system's on, it's going to be sending an on signal, of which we're going to connect over here, which is our number value. And then that system is going to go ahead and control our two velocity pivots. Perfect. Now that we have the rotation all set up, next off we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to connect our digital display. Digital display is going to simply just go straight to our distance sensor and it's going to give us a number value that's going to come out. So if anything is, if any, anything is detected, it's going to tell us how far away it is from our radar system itself. And then lastly, what we need to do is we need to obviously for our control system here, we need to go ahead and actually connect our buzzer up. Now our buzzer, we want to pretty much, if it detects something here, we're gonna send that to a threshold gate and that threshold gate is then gonna send a signal to our radar system and on to our buzzer. However, we want the buzzers to go on and off like a beeping motion. So first component that we'll need for that is going to be a simple blinker. And then obviously we'll need our threshold gate to measure that distance. So we're going to go ahead and connect our distance sensor over to our threshold gate. That's going to measure the distance. It's then going to send a signal over to our control blinker. And then our blinker is going to go send a signal over to our buzzer. While we're here, we're also going to send a signal. So to take something over to our top backlight. So that's going to be the little circle that I painted or the little dot. So when it takes something, it's going to light that up. And then we obviously have our needle that we want always lit up when the system's on. So we're just going to connect our key button to that. Once we have that all connected up, we then need to go ahead and actually select our different components. First off, we need to um, configure our threshold gate. So if it detects anything between zero and, for example, the tutorial, I'm going to use 200. It's going to send a signal. We need to also select our blinker. So we need to see how long we want it to beep on and off for. So for purpose of tutorial, I'm going to use 0 0.5 seconds. So beep, 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 beep. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and then just make sure we have everything else that's set up great. Our two velocity pivots, we're going to move to the slowest setting. So it rotates quite slowly. As I said earlier, you can go ahead and customize this to how you want. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and then just make sure our display, we can go ahead and get rid of the decimals so that we know so it's going to be anything from zero to 250. It's going to give us a little output. Last of all, we're going to go ahead and do is just name our, system, our key button. Uh, it's going to be system switch. And then that's going to be distance away. Fantastic. Now that we have that all hooked up, the last thing we need to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and enable our electric for everything. Obviously, if you were to put this on one of your creations, you probably would have a battery already. So you wouldn't have to go ahead and put a separate battery on. And we're not going to go ahead and uh, add a dial to this because, as I said, you probably will have this already all set up in your own creation. Once we have that all set up, we need to go ahead and just double check all our arrows to make sure that we're going in the right direction. As you can see here, this is negative value is going to send it right, positive is going to send it left, and then same goes for this negative value, send it right, positive left. We want our system to work on a clockwise motion, so we're going to have to give it a negative number. So we're just going to go ahead and add a negative in front of that number there. So now that we got that all done, we're going to go ahead and spawn this in and see if it works. So we'll go ahead to our system. Obviously, you can see now it's off at the moment. And it's obviously, there's nothing within 250 meters. So it's now displaying the maximum range here. So we'll go ahead, activate our system. As you can see here, the radar itself is now rotating along with our screen. And now it's gone ahead and detected something, which is the hangar wall. So it's now lit up that little block there. And it's going to do that for the whole entirety of this hangar. It's pretty much measuring all this. And you can see here the distance that it is away from us. It's measuring all the wall across there. And as soon as it gets to this hangar door, you should see this little light go off. And there we go. And now you can see it's gone all the way back up to 250 meters. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, a nice, quick, short video just explaining how to set up a radar system in your own creation. Um, we won't go any more onto it right now. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat informative. As always, guys, uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.